Aquinas uses the same word that Imam al-Ghazali uses, which are daughters. So just like virtues have daughters, so Imam al-Ghazali in his Mizan al-Amal, he has the virtues and then he has the Banat al-Fatayl, the daughters of the virtues. And then you have the Radha'il and then you have the Banat al-Radha'il, the daughters of the vices. So vices have daughters. And so the daughters of lust are really, really dangerous. There's eight daughters of lust that were identified. One of them is just the blindness of your mind. It's Umyan uh, al-Basira, where you, it puts out your Basira. And, and I was mentioning the last time that the inner eye is very sensitive. So if you're looking at these images, it's going to affect the inner eye. And the end of thoughtlessness, so ghafla, people, I guarantee you, the people that are engaged in these things, they go into a deep state of ghafla when they're in it. And so it will engender more thoughtlessness. And then inconstancy, you'll be inconstant in your practices. Uh, you won't have that, that rigor uh, in your practices. And then rashness, they're people that, um, they, they become people that are flighty and they, they don't have a kind of istiqrar or stability. And, and they'll get uh, you know, angry easier, they'll be, because they're unsettled in their beings. And then self-love, which is very interesting because, and the, pornography, although it's increasingly becoming a female problem because traditionally it was much more of a male problem, but apparently now about 30% of pornography users are women. I mean, I, I don't know how accurate these stats are, but this, this is what I read in the literature. In any case, self-love, it, it's really a narcissistic kind of involvement. And if, if, you, have a, if you, you have your wife and then you're watching these things and you, you enter into this unreal world where, where a real human relationship is, is breaking down for fantasies, literally waham, uh, like Ibn Atayullah says, ma qada ka shi'un mithru wahamak, you know, people are, comp there's nothing that will lead people like uh, just waham, fantasy, illusion. So it's these pixelated images that aren't real. Uh, and, and people are watching these images and, and, and they have real human relationships that are breaking down because of these obsessions. I mean, this is a tragic situation, not to mention the children, because children will find out at a certain point. They're not, they're not stupid. Um, and, and then uh, you're, how are you an exemplar for your child? If, if they think this is what, I mean, Alhamdulillah, you know, my father just hated he really hated, because he saw it as a just a low thing. You know, my father was a he was a literary scholar and, and a professor of philosophy, and like he just saw it as a very low thing. But another thing which I find really strange is there's a character called a peeping tom, and and this is like a pervert. This is a person that goes to people's windows and will look in on them to see like somebody undress or see people being intimate. Essentially, you, you're you making yourself a peeping Tom. You're watching other people in an act of, it's not even intimacy, it's whatever it is, it's just because it's it's commercial. It's for, it's, you know, intimacy is a sacred thing. It's a beautiful thing, but this is something else. It's, it's, it's a total um, desecration of real intimacy. It's utter desecration of it. And so in, in viewing that, you are becoming a peeping Tom, essentially, which is a, is a very unhealthy thing to be. So self-love and then love of the world, hubba dunya, is one of the daughters of lust. Like it, it will cause love of dunya to grow in you. And don't forget, dunya is not love of this incredible creation that Allah has made. Dunya is love of this ephemeral, meaningless world. Hayat dunya is all the things we're warned about. It's not the ocean. That's not dunya. That's alam. That's the world. And the world is a sign of God. So all these extraordinary things that Allah has made, that's not dunya. That's the alam. 
the dunya is it's it's this waham that exists you know stature and position and all these things so all that will grow in your heart and then abhorrence and despair of the future world that's one of the daughters of lust and that's why people that get into these things very often they they really start hating religion and it will put in them a hatred of things sacred uh, and then finally Allah, hatred of God people don't understand that these things are for our protection these prohibitions tell the believing believers to lower their tell them to, to lower their gaze and guard their private parts it begins with gazing that's where fornication that's where it all begins and then he says that that's azka you know it's purer for them there's more there's purity in that so you're guarding your purity i mean i have five boys so it concerns me a lot and i always tell my boys guard your hearts just guard your hearts you know guard your hearts you know this is the the hearing the sight and the hearts. Because hearing and sight, what you see and what you listen to, are inroads to the heart. And Allah has made you responsible for all three. So the heart, you have to guard your heart. And, and if you don't, you know, it's, it's really t terrible. And the Prophet, another thing, the Prophet Sallallahu he said that every son of Adam has nasibun min zina they have a uh, a certain amount of zina and that was the word he used um, and zina generally means fornication or adultery like the arabs in arabic language they 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 say muhsan or ghair muhsan but they don't differentiate like in english we differentiate between adultery which is between married people and and fornication which is between um, unmarried people so uh, the in, in Arabic zina means fornication and adultery it means both but uh, the Prophet said Mudrikun he will have that portion and then he said that the, the, the zina of the, the eye was looking and the zina of the of the um, ear was hearing and the zina of the tongue was speaking in other words looking lustfully listening to uh, things that were lustful uh, flirting or speaking lustfully um, and then he said and the hand he said butch which is you know the zina of the hand is butch um, which is like touching lustfully but he used a word you know which which is a net very it's usually a negative word in arabic of the hand and then he said the zina of the foot is walking to that thing and then he says what the, the heart will desire right and the genitals will either confirm or negate so our prophetic teaching is consistent also with the teaching which the christians have because uh it's Isa, it was reported that he said, this is in the New Testament, it is said of you, the people of, the old, of old, that uh, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, if you look uh, unto a woman lustfully, you've committed adultery in your heart. That's exactly what the Prophet ﷺ was talking about, that there's, there's um, an adultery of the heart. You know? And so these are things that we just don't want to uh, destroy. Our, our hearts because we, the only things that are going to benefit you on the day of judgment on that day nothing will avail the human being neither women nor children nothing will avail you except bringing God a sound heart that's the only thing that will avail us